Hi, welcome to the Danville Public Library. I'm Nancy and today I'm going to show you this week's craft. So this month is African American or Black History Month and so we're um, going to do a really cool craft this week that has to do with that. So make sure you pick up your craft at the library and inside you will find directions on how to do this which I'm going to show you how to do today. And then um, you'll get some information about um, Underground Railroad quilts, which is what our craft is going to be about. So like when um, some of the slaves escaped from the south, they used the Underground Railroad. And one of the things that they used to escape from the south are these quilts. And each of the squares had a special meaning. And when you get your package, you can learn all about what those meanings were. And then um, there's also um, a thing, some more fun activities, and they all have to do with that. And so the big thing is you'll get this piece of paper that has these squares on them. And the first thing that you want to do with those squares is color them. Now you can color them with crayons, you can color with markers, you can color with colored pencils, whatever you want, just have some fun with it. And the best thing about it is you get to be super creative and use your favorite colors. And um, there's no right or wrong, it's whatever looks good or feels good to you. So the... The other thing that you're going to get in the bag is um, a piece of paper. Now they're all different colors because quilts are made in all different colors too. You'll want to stretch that all out nice and flat. You'll want to color all of your squares and then cut them out in, um, in nice squares. Okay, so practice your best cutting technique and cut them in nice squares. And then you'll need some kind of adhesive, some glue, a glue stick, whatever you want. And then once you have all of your squares colored, what you're going to do is you're going to make a quilt. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little glue onto the paper. Now I've already colored my squares, but you would want to do that first. And then we're going to put a little glue on the paper and then we're going to decide where on this quilt should we put this? Now this particular square, if you look at your um, list and what it is, is called the tumbling blocks. And so where do we think the tumbling block should go on our thing? Well, I think maybe here. So when you're making a quilt, um, you're, sometimes you want things to kind of match and sometimes you want things to kind of um, be a little different and maybe you want all of your squares to be the same color or maybe like lots of different color that's the fun thing about quilting is you can make it so very unique and you um, here's another square and this one you'll find they're all labeled on their on your papers um, this square is a crossroads so if I saw this, when, if I was a slave and I saw this on a quilt, that would mean that there was a crossroads coming up. And I would know to be ready for that. Let's see, maybe we need a star. This particular quilt square is the North Star. And so maybe I would tell the, my quilt would say, at the crossroads, look for the star to find your way. So we'll put that one there. And just kind of keep thinking. And so maybe you just like the way the blocks look together, or maybe you want to have a secret little message in your quilt in that it says, you know, that it tells a little story if you know what they mean. So this particular one is a log cabin. So maybe my story would be at the crossroads, look for the star, and there you will find a cabin that's safe for you to stay at night. Or maybe I would use something else like this one, which is called the Drunkard's Path, which just kind of means that it's not safe to go straight and that you should zigzag your way through the through the, uh, on your way. You should go zigzaggy. So just kind of put your squares all together. 
Maybe you can make a pattern like mine, or maybe you can make it different. Whatever you think is fun. And, and if you like it a lot, send us a picture because we sure would like to see what you've been making. So thanks for joining us. Again, make sure you pick up your craft at the library. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.